Hey everyone, I'm here to do a video on a wig that I received recently from a wig sister. This is Henry Margu Jewels in the color 88GR, which is actually a relatively new color for them. So, oh my gosh, I am in love with Jewels. This is so darling. I actually have been wearing her for a little while today and I had her clipped up in the front and so I wanted to start this video with her like this because just this is such an adorable style and I really like um, a lot of times in these curly shorter wigs I really like the front clipped up and it will give me a chance to show you this beautiful lace front but before I do let me grab my phone here. So I've been trying to look up the description of the wigs of the colors that I show because I know color can be so hard. Um, unless you can really see them in person, it's really difficult to determine how exactly what the color looks like in a video, no matter how much lighting we try to give you guys. You know, I have a lot of lighting on me right now in my bathroom. I have a couple of ring lights, our regular bathroom light. Um, I try to go outside and show you the color. Even then, you hear the thunder out there? <laughs> Even then, it's hard to show. So I try to explain what I see as well as if I can find some descriptions to help you. So I looked up 88GR and it looks like this was a brand new color on the Henry Margu website. They had announced it February 12th, 2019. So a little over a year ago, this color came out. And it says it is, um, Let's see, it's a color blending light wheat blonde and darker strawberry highlights with dyed dark brown roots. So let me say that again, light wheat blonde and darker strawberry highlights with dyed dark brown roots. That's how they describe this color. So let me show you this color up close. I will take the clip out as well. So I don't really see a lot of strawberry. I, I definitely, it's blonde, there's no question. It's a very kind of warm golden blonde. It's not really ashy. Uh, so it's definitely a beautiful dynamic blonde. And then there are darker roots. And so you can see this rooting. You can see it when I pull it up in the front. So it's definitely a rooted blonde without question. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I really do. And I've actually worn jewels now a couple of times. And while my daughter can't really get used to seeing me in blondes, my husband really likes this one. And I really, really like it. So let me show you this lace front before I take the clip out. So it's a great lace front. You zoom in a little. So when you can see it up close like that, and you can't really see a lot of dark knotting, you know that's a great lace front, especially on a rooted piece, which this is. All right, so let me take her down and then I will give you guys a spin. So, she is just darling. I do, I'll be honest with you guys, I do prefer her clipped up, um, but she is awfully cute down as well. She has a lace front, but no mono part or any mono filament. So just a, a nice lace front. So let's take a look at her. Aren't these curls just darling? Just so cute. Something else I really like about her is that I don't find her to be too shiny. I don't know how she's coming across on video and part of that is I have very strong lighting on me just so that I can get enough light so this shows up well for you guys. I don't find her shiny at all. I did not feel I needed to spray any dry shampoo in her. That said, I know that we all are all a little different in our tolerance for things like nodding, like shine. And so you may find her shiny. I have heard people talk about some brunette um, colors that I have never found shiny and they find them shiny. So, you know, take that for what you will. I don't find her shiny at all. But isn't she just adorable? And she is very, very scrunchable. So 
I was able to get more curl out of her by just spraying her down and getting her wet and I did actually get stuck out in the rain a little bit and so she got wet and then I just did this and it really brought out the curl I have seen some jewels um, some pictures of this uh, uh, that it didn't look this curly so this is another example that you know who knows what you're really gonna get when you get her, but I personally find her to be just super, super adorable. So let's talk about the cap construction. She has a lot of permatease on top. She has a really big poof of permatease up here. Um, it's all up here, like the whole top. And then there's there's some perm permatease on the sides. It's not the poofy kind, it's more of the crimpy fiber kind, but there is poofy, pillowy permatease all on the top and all back here in the crown. That's gonna give her this beautiful lift of the curls. It's also gonna help her hold her curls and her style longer. So that permatease is definitely an asset in this style with these curls, but you might feel that she's a little poofy if you're not used to that. So keep that in mind. Some things that you can do to really mitigate that, you know, when I, if I find if I just clip the front up, it brings lift to the front too. It doesn't make it feel as poofy to me. Something else that I'll do sometimes with wigs like this is I'll wear a headband with them. A cloth headband, a square band, just some sort of a headband that'll press this part down just slightly and she won't feel as poofy. So those are a couple of things you can try. Permatease does settle over time, so wearing her a few times and doing some of those uh, techniques could help you um, get used to it and then have it um, be minimized a little bit. So let me show you the cap. <clears throat> like I said, Jules does not have a monofilament. She does have a great lace front and it's a deep lace front. So there's her lace front. Now that's a nice deep lace front. I'd say it's about a little more than an inch, about an inch or a little more than an inch. And it's a, it goes far, it goes to each ear tab. And that's also, <clears throat> I'm getting a frog in my throat. That's fabulous for styling. And when you've got a lace front like that, especially when you've got the amount of curl that Jules has, I don't know that you really need the monofilament. Sometimes when you get wigs like this and they've got really good curl and some permatease, you can't see that monofilament anyway. And so it's a feature that you're paying for and you might not get a, be getting all your money's worth out of it. So just keep that in mind. Um, sometimes it's okay to get just a lace front if, it's, if the wig is well done, and this one really is. You can't see that permatease at all. It's not visible because of how the curls lay, at least on my piece. So there are the ear tabs. <clears throat> this is the extended nape and they have Velcro adjusters. And um, Henry Margot wigs fit me very, very comfortably. Um, she's, she's cinched in just a little bit, so I do find them to run just a, a, maybe a tiny bit. They're not big, they're just, they don't run petite on my head. So I'm able to um, cinch her in slightly with my 22 inch circumference, which means if you're a little bit bigger than I am, then you are, um, you're still gonna be okay with this one. Uh, and the other thing I do notice though is I don't have a ton of extra room in the top. I have a tiny bit but not a lot. I will get more room in the cap of sometimes of like a John Renault, um, an Aesthetica, Belle Tress. Those all fit me a lot bigger. Henry Margot fits me pretty comfortably. And I am average circumference and pretty petite over the top of my head. So keep that in mind. Look at my measurements in the description so that you can compare. Something else that I'll tell you is that I'm eight inches from here to here, and I'm four and a half inches from here to the tip of my nose. So as you look at the length, just know that you know my measurements compared to yours. So if you wanted to cut a full bang in her, I would say um, that might be tricky, and here's why. You see how she lays. There's a lot of curl here, a lot of wave pattern, and she does want to swoop up off the face. Now, you may get a piece that wasn't tied exactly the same. Keep this in mind, or maybe you don't know this, uh, lace fronts are hand tied, which means somebody's doing that, a person, and you can't get exactly the same workmanship out of any two pieces when a person is doing it. And so somebody else may tie into the lace a little bit differently and it will lay differently. So on mine, it really wants to have almost like a colic in the front, which is perfect for keeping it off the face, but for making bangs into it, that can cause an issue. Now you can certainly address that with steam and try steaming the hair down and steaming it flat. Um, she does, I mean, she's not short enough to be full bangs, but it is short enough if you swoop her a little, it kind of feels like you have a bang, as you can see. So I do think you've got some options. You can swoop her up and off. 
Um, you can try to get her to lay down just a little bit more. But I don't know that cutting bangs without using steam and doing some straightening and those kinds of things would work all that well with this piece. That said, if you've cut bangs into jewels, leave that in the comments. Please share with your sisters because that's how we help each other. All right, everybody, um, I'll get you an outside look. I gotta tell you guys, I really like Jules. She is a great summer wig. I'm wearing her in the heat of the summer. She's off my neck. I can pull her up off my face. Just really a darling, but she is poofy. She has quite a bit of hair density for a wig of this length. I mean, she's pretty dense, um, which means she has kind of a, a good amount of hair. So if you're new to this journey, you've never had thick hair, you're not used to curls, Jules may overwhelm you a little bit in the beginning. You can certainly grow to learn to wear wigs like this. It just sometimes can be hard at first. So just keep that in mind and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, wait a minute before I go, let me just quickly show you the ear tabs. I have one wig sister who said that she just um, needs to know how the ear tabs fall on people and so many people don't show that and I know I do sometimes and I don't sometimes so I'm trying to remember so here are the ear tabs they actually come down really nice and there's hair sewn into the ear tabs here so it really does a good job of hiding my bio hair for the most part and then when you see how she lays I just don't have issues with my bio hair showing with this one and even if it did you know I'm a, a brunette dark brunette is my natural color um, with this rooting it's very much blends the other thing I want to show you is she does tuck the ear tabs go down I mean I'm I was able to wear my sunglasses very comfortably with her today um, but you know they're nice and low and then look at how cute she tucks so that's just another styling option so again I'm a fan of jewels I'm giving her two thumbs up and she's one I would wear so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon hey everyone okay so here is 88 GR and Henry Margot outside. It's very overcast, but it's still outside light. It's about to storm. So I know I have her up, but you can still really see this color. And it is rooted, so I want to make sure you can see that. This is such a beautiful color. Oh my gosh, just these blonde and just gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. Get over here, kind of get out in the yard here, make sure we're getting some good light on it. So this is really blonde, so if you're a brunette, this is probably too blonde for you. I do love it though. And for summer, it's just the perfect, perfect kind of color and style. So 88 GR, just beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, everyone. Okay, so here's Jewels out of the box. I am really digging this. I think Jewels is going to be so cute. Jewels is box hair, which happens a lot with curly wigs, especially short curly wigs. I think just living in the box, kind of being scrunched in on itself, gives a, a wig... A synthetic wig a lot of box hair this one's gonna be cute I think though I'm gonna soak her and I I, um, I obviously already tried her on I knew what I was dealing with it's very rare that I'm gonna do an out-of-the-box and not have seen it before because I just want to know what I'm gonna talk about so she's got some issues with the front um, I think the curl pattern is gonna be so adorable but I want to get it wet and scrunch her up um, you know, she's got this really awesome lace front, which even if I can't quite get the front to lay how I really want it to lay, she's gonna be one of those that's gonna be so easy to style off the face. Uh, so I am thrilled so far. And, and, and I don't consider this a wearable style out of the box. That's okay though, because I think all she's gonna need is water. So I am going to, am I gonna soak her? Am I gonna spritz her? You know, I don't know yet. I'm going to think about that a little bit and then I'll tell you guys, well, you're watching this at the end. I'll have told you what I did. I'm, 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 I'm debating. I actually have two wigs right now soaking that I got from the wig company that I'm going to do a review on and they need 
much more help than this one. Um, so I may just stick her in the same water and make it easy on myself. And then what I'll do is I'll do my typical shake, scrunch, hang upside down, and we'll see what we've got. But I'm really excited. I think this is going to be cute. So anyway, this is the out of the box for you. So really, I think it's Bottom line is they don't always look great out of the box, but it's not all is not always lost. And so the hard part you're going to have, which I can't do for you, is to determine is it worth it to try to make it work because then you can't return it. Um, in some cases you can anyway, and so you've got nothing to lose. Um, I would look at this one and say, I can make this work. So if, if I would have purchased this brand new and I were trying to determine do I keep or do I return, I absolutely would keep this because worst case scenario, if I can't get, you know, this front is what I'm most worried about. I know I'm gonna be able to make the curls look great. With a good lace front, you always can style off the face. So worst case scenario is you just wear up in a clip every time. So anyway, that's my two cents. Thanks for watching you guys.